my husband was there, my children was there, and me, and only God is there. When I opened the Bible, oh. do you know, instead of saying Jade, I said Jade. Instead of saying Jade? Jade, I Jade. said Jade, <laughs> instantly. And I said, ah, ah. He now said that, ah, Ibuku, you actually said Jade, hmm. instead of Jade, that's a Yoruba way of uh, speaking. Hmm. <laughs> I tell people is that no matter how you preach to someone, if God didn't want that person to believe, no matter how you pray or you're the highest apostle, forget about it. If that person's meant for destruction, leave them. Mm. But don't go and fall in the trap. My mom now popped by to see me. She, went, uh, uh, she had to call me out into the kitchen. She went, are you all right? I said, yeah, I'm okay. She went, have you run mad? I said, no. I said, Why have you invited a black man that you don't know in mm. your house? And I said, mom, I don't know. Mm. Bible says God first, yes. then your wife and your children, mm. then the ministry, because your ministry starts from home, which means they, you have to have your ministry from home before you can come outside and, and minister to other people. All this one that you see through Facebook and they say, hey, drop your number, this thing will happen. Uh -uh. You yourself as a Christian. Are you okay? Hmm. It's like, God forgive, a lot of to be only a old Dao, because yes. your head is bewitched. It, hmm. You know when they say only a Buru? It means that that person's head is bewitched. Yeah. I see them that if you are eating grass because of a prophet say you should eat grass, you too, you are already a dog. Well, it's another very wonderful, lovely day right here in the city of Lagos, mainland Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa, as we are lucky again to meet a very unique, wonderful, creative, innovative couple uh, for all the way from the United Kingdom. They've been around for almost two months now in Nigeria, trying to put new things into being especially in the art sector but the most iconic thing about it is that we are meeting a lady we're going to start with the wife who is a very unique personality she's called famously called Oyibo Yoruba and the person of lady evangelist Sisi Oniya 
she's been a very terrific, creative, innovative personality. She is one of the few British-born actress, interior decorator, singer, mother, an activist that's married to a Yoruba man in the person of Mr. Paul Abidemi Oniya. They are both musicians. They've done a lot in the art industry, especially in UK, and they're also trying to contribute their quota in the Nollywood in Nigeria here. And they came in, we have to search out for them. And what makes this very unique is that the wife speaks Yoruba so friendly. She's married to this man for a couple of years, and they have some lovely children. And you'll be so, so shocked that this is a woman that has given her intellect, and uh, she has intense, she has given her intellect to development of culture, languages, and uh, I would call her a black woman in a white woman's skin. So I'm meeting her first, and because it's a wine encounter, I want to encourage you to let us start by you opening the wine, then let's serve. Okay. So I hope you are very okay with us in Nigeria here. Yes, sir. Thank you. My name is... <laughs> Yes, I want you to open it, then we can roll up from there, we can roll the interview. Oh, this is lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, okay, you know how to do that? Yes. I just hope it's not going to bang. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, let me do that. Let's join it. Only car for us work more. You know that? Car for us work more. Don't just call more. I mean, that is P P P Huri. Yeah, you got it. Then you can serve us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. That's how we do it during a wine encounter. She's going to now serve us because. She is the guest. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Well, this is fantastic. I hope this is how you serve our daddy. That is Paul Abidi Munia in London and anywhere you find yourself. Oh, yes. Sir. That's lovely. Yes, that's lovely. You can serve yourself more. Yeah. Well, the wine is charmed though, because <laughs> it's a charming family. And it's not a dull moment. First and foremost, uh, it's going to be a shifting between Yoruba, we're going to be something between Yoruba and uh, English language. But let me start by asking you that, who is this beautiful lady and uh, how did it all start for you? I mean, how did it start for you? Can you tell us a bit about yourself before we go into language? Okay. So you have said my name. Yes. CC. Then, Ebukunuluwa Oniya. So my husband gave me my name, Ebuku, for his blessing. Ebuku only his blessings. Mm. So that's how I got my Yoruba name. Mm. Then from there, we was, you know, when you when you marry, like me, I'm white. Yeah. You know, they are opposite colors. So mm. if you want to become one, you have to study both sides. Like, what do you do in your tribe? What do I do? How is this? You know, you'll be finding out different things about each other. Yeah. So he's a keyboardist professionally. Yeah. So, you know, he can he can play. And when he play, he doesn't just play on his own. He plays with anointing. Yeah. So when we when we get together, you know, after you do mommy and daddy, like you've got your kids and everything, then we are Christian. So we pray, we do, you know, we do normally go to church as well. So then God showed me in my dreams for about, let's say, a good two months. 
I had the same dream for two months every day. Ah, it was me in the dream. Then everybody else was black. Hmm. I didn't see myself, with, not even my mom, no, no white, no hmm. family member of mine was there. Hmm. And I said, ah, why am I in this dream every day for two months? Seeing you with black men? It's in a crowd. Okay, in a crowd. Like, like a, like a, a stage. It's like I'm on a, on a high platform. Then there's loads of people like trying to talk to me or I don't even, I didn't get the dream at all for a good two months. I was mm. like, ah, why is it that I'm not now with white people? Mm. What was God trying to tell me? Because I don't, I don't know what's going on. So we prayed about it. Then after we prayed about that, yeah. we now discovered that I have, it, where God wants to take me is among not my people, not mm. white people. It's like I'm traveling out. And, and that place where I am is another country. <clears throat> so and I said, okay. Then after that dream stopped, another dream come. I was reading Bible, but it wasn't in English. You were reading Bible. I was reading the Bible in, in my dream. Instance. But even in the dream, I was like, what kind of language am I speaking? Why am I reading Bible? And it's not in English. The writing and everything. And I told I told my husband, I said, ah, I'm reading Bible, but not in English. You know, I said, ah. What do you mean not in English? Then what Bible is that? And I said, ah, I don't know. But then we now put it together that the people are black. The language is different. Mm. I opened the Bible. My husband was there. My children was there. And me and only God is there. When I opened the Bible, oh. do you know, instead of saying Jade, I said Jade. Instead of saying Jade. Jade, I Jade. said Jade. <laughs> Instantly. And I said, ah, ah. He now said that, ah. You actually said Jade hmm. instead of Jade. That's a Yoruba way of uh, speaking. Hmm. You know, in English now, it's a different hmm. uh, different than um, Yoruba. Yoruba tongue is back. Yes. Uh, English tongue is forward. So now I said, okay, let me start reading the Bible. Then the only thing, my husband will come in and he will be saying, if it's O, E, U, you know, if, if the dot is at the bottom, the S is now a sh, a, a, like instead of saying a C. If there's no dot, it's C. If there's a dot at the bottom, it's she. Hmm. So that's how I now, it now became easy that, okay, my husband has told me that this Bible now, if it's got dot here and dot here, if it's got a line that way, if it's got a line that way. So it was now teaching me how to say, if it's L-E, it's not Le, it's Le or Le. Yeah. or Lee, hmm. flat. Hmm. So as time was going, because when when God speaks to you, if you listen to him, things will come easy. Hmm. That's what I will say. Hmm. So the more I started, I started in our church. I will read in Bible. In England? Yes. I will read Bible in the Yoruba church. I will read Bible. I will sing. I started singing in worship. Then it's like Holy Spirit will just come inside me and mm. change my tongue. In fact, change the whole atmosphere. Mm. So when I'm on, when I'm ministering now, it's not me. They're using my flesh. It's me, Ibuku, but it's not me. It's Holy Spirit. Mm. Because I can't do it on my own. Mm. This, it's not possible for me to go and, even pastors will tell us that, oh, we want your wife to come on Thursday. We want her to read Psalm 23. Yeah. When we get to church, they'll say, no, we don't want Psalm 23 because she, we are testing her to see if she has um, familiar, you know, like if you get familiar with a certain song or passage, they didn't want me to have had um, practice. They now say, no, we'll change it to Psalm 105. Mm. I will read it exactly. I'll say the chapter, I'll say the verse. They will even tell me that, okay, after this one, I want, want you to read this one. And they even give me one that is, they know that I, I might not have ever read. I will mm. read it. Mm. So that's when it start, That's how I started. So everything I wanted to do, everything I graduated in uni, in, in my uh, GCSEs, everything I planned to do in life, I'm not doing any of it. Mm. Even the interior, I'm an interior designer. Yeah. I design houses. Oh, so properties, I, interior for houses. Yeah, I'm a designer. I know how to... I, in fact, I can make everything in this room but mini. I, I will show you the pictures later. Mm. Mm. I, I make things, I put lights in it, I will change the color, I will add it. I can draw I can draw you as you are. You can draw me? Yeah, I can draw you as you are now. 
So you have the knowledge to draw too. I have them inside this hotel. I'll show you some of the drawings later. So after that, every <clears throat> even the job I normally do, for some reason, when I get to the to the house of the people, <laughs> honestly, along along the average meal, but along <laughs> Bangor, every time I have a contract for that interior decorating or um, churches, everybody's black. Everybody's Everybody black. do do. Uh -huh. I'm not getting any Oyibo customer in my life. And I say, ah, everything around me is turned black. Black. Yeah, no color. It's just doo-doo. So I now, and every time I meet the doo-doo people, they will now tell me, can you come to church? Hmm. And I say, ah, ah, I'll now end up. That's how we started moving around. And the funny thing is, when me and Tayo, we play like together, if we are playing keyboard together, like if I'm singing, he's playing keyboard. It's like double anointing is there. Mm. It, it turns around like another level. Okay, like me, they will come and say, will you do praise and worship? I will do worship. Then I can say, okay, now you come and you do the praise. That's how it's been. Mm. And that's how we have been moving. Then our children eat Yoba food. Our children eat the Yoba food. They even Omotola will try to make Iyo with a wedu for the daddy. Hmm. So, you know, it's been, it's only God that's been with us in this journey, hmm. even in this Nigeria <laughs> self. But uh, growing up, uh, when you were young, yeah. did you ever had the that you're going to marry black? My mom used, when my mom met Tayo, like when my mom met, met him, she said, ah, we know that you're going to marry black because my mom told me that every doll, every figure, Okay. has to be brown. I still have them till now. Oh, oh, all my yeah. figures, all my dolls, dolls, all my everything are black or brown. Oh. Gollywogs, I collected them. Little figures like this, he was playing a trumpet, keyboard, drum. Proper black or even really like this. You know the olden yeah. time, like, yeah. they was really dark. Hmm. So my mom told him that I know my daughter's going to marry Dudu. Hmm. She's going to marry a black man. Because I didn't like, and I played with the mixed race children then when I was young. Because, hmm. you know, then, in my school, is 1991, I was born. So imagine, let's say, I left 2010. So there's not really many, um, there's, like now, there's uh, mixed races everywhere. But it, when I was in school, yeah. there was only two hmm. mixed race. Yeah, there wasn't. Two mixed race. And then there was one, um, one girl there called Blessing, and she was a Yoba. And oh, she was my school, best friend. In, yeah. In school then? In school, she was say she's from Nigeria. She's a Yoba. You know, in school, that was around 2010. Wh 2000. Yeah. Were you the first or the last of your parents? Or? No, I'm the first. first I have, I, yeah, I'm the oldest. Okay, the oldest. I'm the firstborn. Then I have my younger sister who's four years younger than me. Oh. So she's around 20, I'm 30. I think she's 25 or 26. Hmm. The younger sister. Yeah. So, 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 how many of you then? Um, Just two. Okay. Two. two ladies. Me and my sister, two mm. girls. Yeah. She, she's not married now. No, she's married. She has three kids. Oh. oh Ibo. That's interesting. Even yeah. they eat the food though. They, they ask us to cook jollof rice. They eat um the orbe with uh, white rice. They eat the food as well. They like it. And my mom. Call my mom. My mom is a professional decorator as well. But my mom is a chef now. Oh. So she's. You don't see my mom. She's in work. My, you don't see my mom at all. My mom is work focused. So, because she's a chef, she's the only chef in that restaurant. So she's 24 hours. So you don't see my mom. When it's open, she's there till it closes. But my mom, before before we graduate, my mom was a child minder. And she used to mind um, African women's um, kids. So we was around... Even my mom go to African party. My mom eat jollof rice. My mom will wear all the stuff because of her friends from work. Mm. So, and my cousin in London is Oyibo. He married a Yoba woman. Mm. He's white man, but married Yoba woman. And they have a mixed race child oh, now. Your mom? My, my mom, no, my grandmom's brother, so my nana's brother's son, married Dudu woman now. Wow. Just now, was it, uh, I think, Two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. So it's like. So it's like many do do are coming in my family. The family. <laughs> Though I, my family origin is not English. Oh, it's not English. No, like if you see my family now, they don't look like me. 
Mm. You will not know that we yeah. are yeah, 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 the same they, they are brown. They are browner okay. than Brownish me. Brownish. They are br color. more brown than me. Mm. They have black hair, black eye. I'm the only one with white hair and blue eyes. That's interesting. Even my sister doesn't have white hair. Well, what about dad? Is he also a professional or teacher or what? No. He, yeah, he's, he's a businessman. He okay. has his own business. He does all what he does. But me growing up, I'm, I don't relate with my dad. Mm. I'm with my mom. Okay. My mom raised us okay. as a single parent. Mm. Because he he married at the same time. I have a, apparently I have a sister that's the same age as me. So you can see that he was having two wife. Okay, so that my mom, have his my, Yeah, so my mom doesn't want a man that's already married. Okay. She 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 so wants to stay on her own. Stay my on mom her own. is a career woman. Oh. She works. So my mom, even in fact, if she it, maybe that's why God doesn't want her to have a man. I don't know. I'm not God. I don't question mm. my mom. My mom is my mom. Bible says honor your parents. So I. My mom's life is my mom's life. My life is my life. That's how I deal with it. Even in fact, <laughs> I deal with it like that because of my faith. Mm. Like my mom now, she's not a believer. Mm. My mom doesn't believe in God. Okay, she's just a free thinker. Yeah, <laughs> my mom don't believe in God at all. Mm. My mom is, so we are different. Mm. But my great grandmom, uh, she, she was a godly woman. And then when she died when I was around 13. Oh, she died when, yeah. when you were 13? Yeah, so mm. from there, I went back with my mom. But mm. I was always with my grandma. Even my grandma now, I w growing up, I was always with my grandma. She was a Catholic? I'm more close to my grand than my mom. Was she a Catholic or a Protestant? Or? No, Church of England, COE. Ch okay, Church of England. Church of England, yeah, so she's Protestant. Mm. But the husband was Catholic, so there was always... Um, it, my it, grand it, and my granddad met in school, mm. and they died together. Mm. They grown, they don't have... Um, they don't believe in... a. You split up and all this, no. But then from my, when they died, from my grand's generation, it went wild. <laughs> no God anymore. <sighs> once once they died, there's no God left. Mm. From my grand to my mom to me. I'm the only one now standing with God mm. in the whole family. Just you. Just me. It's been a tug of war. Mm. So you are the only one that you're the evangelist now and you're yeah, the, even the, the promoter of now the they faith. Are, the, yeah, now it's gone from they don't believe in anything, but now it's gone to, ah, we believe in something, mm. but we don't know what we believe in. Mm. So, you know, it's the air, the air. When you keep praying for them, there's nothing God cannot do. Cannot do. Mm. But what I tell people is that no matter how you preach to someone, if God didn't want that person to believe, no matter how you pray or you're the highest apostle, forget about it. If that person's meant for destruction, leave them. Mm. But don't go and fall in the trap. Mm. Don't go their way. Yeah, like me now, I don't follow. My, my mom is high. Hi, mom, I'll give her everything. If I have anything, I'll give her. We go, we speak on phone. But we're not. I can't go and say because she's doing birthday party and they are playing ungodly music. I will not go there. Because mm. you'll come and give me another battle to go and fight in my home. Mm. Lie, lie. I can't do it. So I stay away, but I, I, I will greet them. I'll, I'll still do like normal, but even if, they, if there's a problem in my family, they will call me and tell you to pray. They say, can you pray for us, please? Mm. Uh, um, we need this, we need that. And I say, ah, but you don't believe in that same God. They say, we believe in something, but we don't know what we believe in. Mm. Now, let, let, let me, let me, what, 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 let, let me take you back to your husband. What do you think? It's so special about it. Before we go to the Yoruba language, what do you say him when you saw him that made you to know that this is your lost bone that you've been looking for? What are those things that made him that, that made you to spot the real thing in him? Well, you know, actually it's a long story. But I'll try to summarize it. But how long is it? You can give us a it's long a lo the story is basically is God that joined us together. And I will explain why. So how did God brought him from Nigeria in West Africa and gave him to you in Britain? Exactly. You know, we both, before, like when I was young, I used to, I, before I met Christ, I met Christ through Tayo. Oh. He's the one that led me to Christ. You mean your husband? Yes. So my husband led me to Christ. But what happened is, the, the strange thing is, is that, how will I say, okay, now I'm doing the work of God, mm. Abby. Yeah. Uh -huh. But before, in 2014, 
I was actually, my, my name and my picture was in this Nigeria, in Ocean Sender. Ocean Sender? Yeah, it's a newspaper in Ocean. Okay. Ocean, or, okay. Ocean, Ocean, Ocean Sender. Sender. Yes. And Ocean I sang um, a song from Davido. Oh. I sang that song oh. in my friend house. Yeah. That's the video. So that was 2014, before I gave birth. So and I said, ah. So I sang it to my friend like this. We are joking. But what what she did is she now sent that video, without my permission, to um, what do you call them? Like these agents that bring. Okay. Them from, uh, that is uh, a from like Nigeria. Agency. Yeah, they will bring them over. They will perform. So before you know it, everybody was just say, ah, Ekurola I was like, ah, ah, why are you singing that song to me? And for about good going to twelve months, I didn't click on that. That video has been out. Everybody was just coming to me. I was like, oh, yeah, they maybe the, the song is raining. I just thought maybe that song is just raining, not knowing that, that the video, video has went round. Went viral. It even into out. Dubai, even into um, this uh, Tunisia, many countries had it then. So I went to a takeaway, and they are from um, Libya. Mm. Then I said, "We have seen you." I said, "Me." They said, "They now brought my video." I said, ah, "How did you get this video?" They said, "How do you not know about your video? It's been twelve months." I said, "Oh my Pretty goodness!" Much. Then 2014, from that video. I got invited to Iyaya, all my ladies, Kunkere. Yes. Okay, I went to a dance competition. I won the dance competition in 2014. So it went all over YouTube. 150 something thousand views. So my days, I won the stuff. Then other things happened on the ground. But I will not say it mm. now. But I'll still tell you. But other things went and I said no. So you became drawn into the entertainment sector? Just of like that side, but there's more to it. Mm. Nothing is not ordinary. Hmm. None of them people are ordinary. Was your husband aware of those? No, I've not met my You're husband. I've not given birth then. Oh I've my not God. met him yet then. Hmm. So I now I now told my friend then that something's not right. Even though I don't believe in God. I, I believe in God because my yeah. grandma. But I wasn't spiritually filled. Yes. I just know that, okay, they talk about God, I'll like it. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm not too holy yeah, filled. You're not too... I'm still like this. Yeah, you're too like... I'm not you're still a nominal or, Christian then. Yes, I'm still just Christian because of my grandma. Yeah. Not because of the me. The influence of a grandma. Yeah, exactly. Because we wake up, we pray, we do, you know. But to me, I've not had an encounter with God at that point. Mm. So I won the dance. I did everything. And now, when I went to go to the next stage, ah, I now told my friend that, look, eh, I don't want to do this thing. Mm. In fact, I'm going... I was supposed to go back to the hotel in the after party. Yeah. I said, no, I don't want no VIP or hotel or anything. My friend went there. There's something, many things just happen. I said, but I warned you not to go there. So I thank God for my life that it took me out of that, of that kind of... Um, yeah, that kind of, uh, uh, what do they call it, covenant? Yeah, mm. in underworld covenant, not, not godly at all. Mm. So one thing I thank God is that from the age of six years old, Maybe because of the prayer of my grand. Ha. <laughs> you see my family, mm. all of them, they have tattoo, they have piercings, they drink, they smoke, they take drug. But me, Boko, I've never done any of them in mm. all my life. Mm. My mum used to no, fight me. No tattoo. No tattoo, no, no piercing, piercing of no, your drug, body, no, no smoke, drug, no, no airing, no, no abnormal no. dressing. Even my mum, she pierced my ears when I was three months old. To that frame of what I've never wore earring. Like, like, I've not, I don't know. Maybe That's God fantastic. has been keeping me all this while without me even knowing. Mm. Because every time something will happen when I was young, I will be the one to say, look, don't go there. Don't do this. Don't do that. So God always had me, had my backing from being young. So that's when I now met, when I now met my husband. It's very funny. <laughs> you see, as you are sat facing me now, yes. that's how my husband was. He lived right where my kitchen is. His own kitchen is like this. Okay, it's he lived direct. Own oh, the only thing that is separate oh. is the street. Hmm. Okay. So where, where your kitchen? My kitchen yeah. is here. His own kitchen is there. Oh, in the same. So in the same apartment. No, okay. my own is, okay, okay. is a complete house oh. up and down. His own is the same, but over the road. Oh, so understand. there's a big street. Oh, I My car parking. Adjacent. Car park, yes. So, 
when I used to come outside, I used to put the swimming pool out for the children. I used to say, ah, why is there a black man staring at me for good two, three hours every day? And I said, ah, ah. You know, you know, you both land. If somebody is staring at you over the road, you call police or say, yes. ah, ah, there's yeah. a stalker on my street. We don't know what he's doing. The police will come and carry them, take them off. And I said, okay, why is this man just staring at me? He will leave the kitchen. He will now come and sit in the car facing me. Mm. And I said, oh my God. That, I had to call my friend and say, look, eh, my friend is called Charlotte. Well, she's my cousin. You see my dad issue. My dad and her mom, a brother and sister. Uh -huh. But I didn't know till I was grown up. We thought we was friends. We didn't know it was related though. Okay, That's know. another story you for you both. <laughs> so I now the white environment. Ah, it's not easy. Or coming from my grand dying to another land, to another world. My grand didn't have tattoo and all this thing as well. So the issue of my mom, she used to say that we should all have the same tattoo. It's a jigsaw. Yeah. For me, I refused till now. Mm. So my mom wasn't close to me anymore. After that, I refused it. Mm. But the issue of uh, Tayo living facing me, he now used to come in the car and every day, I mean like for quite a few months, he would do that every day, morning, afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon, evening. I used to say, Charlotte, what's going on? She said, ah, maybe you'll marry him, joking. She said, but he's not your type. I said, no, he looks like a pastor mm. and he looks older than me. Mm. And then he had a Bible. He always with his Bible, always, sometimes in white garment. I used to think, ah, hey, is it because my nan believe in God? Now you now bring a pastor to me, God forbid. <laughs> and Charlotte was laughing that, how can you the best dancer? VIP in every hotel, go with a man that's got a Bible, say, ah, never. <laughs> I refused it. I said, I rebuke it. I'm not going there. Ah, he now started coming over. That's oh, the husband? Yeah. He started coming over. He came over. I said, oh, compose yourself. What do I say now? I said, Jesus. Ah, and me that is even calling Jesus. I didn't have faith then. I only know Jesus because of my grand. And I said, ah, he's coming over. And he has his Bible. Big Bible though. And I said, oh my God. Who is this man? This man is older, he's not my type. You know when you're in flesh? Yeah. I like tall guys, hands, you know all this thing. Yeah, it's, you, it's, you, it's you like, are looking for the features. You are corrupted. Outlet, yeah, yes. UK is Out, corrupted outward. though. They have corrupt our mindset. Mm. Honestly, even my mom. Mm. My mom, first activity. Like if you give birth in UK now, they can't wait for you to clock 18. You go clubbing with your mom. Can you imagine? A long bang bang. Clubbing, socially. You go clubbing. Uh -uh. Mm. Yes, clubbing, your own mom. Hmm. Say, oh, oh my God. When he came over, he said, hello. I said, like, are you lost? He said, where? I said, are you lost? Are you looking for someone or are you looking for a place? He said, no, I'm looking for you. He said, me? Ah, what do you want from me? I said, I've been noticing you staring at me, looking at me. He said, ah, sorry. It doesn't mean to be like rude. He said, but ah, he can't help but look at me that. In fact, he said, I want you to do um, singing with me. I want you to dance in my videos. I want you to um, be more with music. Because then I was playing Davido, that song. Mm. And I said, do you understand what this person is saying? I said, yeah. When I sang it to him, he was like, ah, ah. So can you not be in my video? Can you not dance for me? Can you not do this? I said, why not? No problem. He said, how much will you charge? I said, don't worry. I'll do it for free. Can you I just wanted to... Just uh, agree uh, and he will go. Uh, uh, yes, I yes. wanted to get rid of him before okay. my friends come. You know, I was doing younger then. I, I had too much uh, attention. I was like, ah, please, hurry up and do you know, just go. <laughs> For some reason, eh? I said he should come in my house. I said, do you want to come in my house? It's never been done in my life. Me inviting man in my house. I'm not mad. He came in. My mom now popped by to see me. She, went, uh, she had to call me out into the kitchen. She went, are you all right? I said, yeah, I'm okay. She went, have you run mad? I said, no. I said, why have you invited a black man that you don't know in mm. your house? And I said, mom, I don't know. Mm. I said, I actually don't know. So it was, uh, it was just a kind of coincidence? It's a coincidence that how I brought him in, how I let him in, how everything he said is just there. And it's, uh, everything, you, he has every, authority on you immediately. Yeah, it's like he used Holy Spirit to arrest me. This is not <laughs> Juju. You know Juju, you can still uh, kill the power. For the power of God, you can't kill it too. So that Holy Spirit arrested me that night. And I said, oh my days. And I was speaking. We spoke till 4 a.m. Mm. in the morning. He told me everything. I mean, from his family to everything. 
everything like secrets, everything I knew about him in one day. And I mm. said, oh my God. Do you know it was very strange? It was it was weird. Even me till now, I actually don't know how things started. Just everything he said then he know was coming. Yes. Okay, within a month, we started church music. This one dreaming. This it's like everything came in one. Just simultaneously. Just without me even planning. Or you know, you have a warning. No warning sign. Nothing. And I said, Oh my days! What will we do now? So as we started talking, he now showed me a, a text on his phone. And that text is 2006 hmm. text. And the prophet is still in this Nigeria. Hmm. In fact, we, do, we came from his mountain uh, two or three days ago. You have to ask my husband the name, I forgot. I think it was Prophet Adin Niyi. It's a big mountain. Okay. It's the highest, like really good, big prophet. In Nigeria? Yeah, here in Ibadan. Okay. We just came from the mountain. For, we went there for prayer overnight in the mountain. So he showed me the text, and it's 2006. That, that prophet said, you will marry Oibo. Mm. And exactly my dis description oh, is in it. that text. Mm. Exactly what we will do and mm. what will happen that night was in that text. And that thing happened. Mm. Just it, like that. Just like that. Wow. That's when I now, that's when I now see that uh, God is real. Mm. Because that that cannot be. Then I had a, um, even my, I had a, like a friend then, like a male friend then, we were like best friends. He wanted to marry me, have kids and all that. But me, I was too rugged at that point. I'll be, I'll be, I was ruthless. Mm. As I'm nice now, it's because of God. Then, ah, hey, I, I will do men and I'll just fly them. He was there. He was my type. He was like, mostly he was like all this type. My cousin said, ah, Sissy, I hope you are okay. I said, I'm fine. She said, ah, you want to get rid of him? that you will not even marry, that's been begging you for years, and you want to go with this man, a pastor, this man that is not your type. I said, don't worry. My mm. mom said the same thing, my grand, my sister. Are, for a good three months, I had it, pressure. Against that proposal. Yeah, you can't go with him. He's too old. You can't go with him. Eh, he, he's like, eh, you can't go with him. He's this. He, you can't. I said, look here. I started backing him up myself. I said, ah, what will I do now? He the then he will knock on my door in the morning. I said, hello, he bring me watermelon, uh, pineapple, stuff, you know, different things. Just for Just gift. gift. And I said, oh my days. As I started, I would start having a dream. Everything in that text that he showed me is what was in my dream. Mm. So from there, I think we actually moved fast. It wasn't up to... Astronomically. Yeah, it wasn't up to three week that we don't talk every day. Morning to night, he'll be calling me, this one video, this, this one, this one, visiting me every day, do this, do that. So I now told him that, okay, I, I, will, I will wait till December. I met him in the, I think that was January. Mm. I said, I'll wait till December, then I'll give you feedback if I want to be with you or not. Because then that one that was begging me, I felt bad that, mm. oh, all the memories, all this thing we've been doing now, what will I, you know? Well, I now push him out. I felt bad and my family was like, you know, different. My family friends were mocking me that, ah, if you go with him, this is it. If you, so I, my pride was a bit up that, okay, I'll, I'll say hi bye, mm. but I won't move close. So when we got to December, around August, July, we started moving closer. We was laughing, joking, you know, doing things. We was, we was going to like Blackpool, we was going to beach, we was going to um, all different stuff. But nothing lovey lovey or anything. Now that December came from January. Do you know we actually got together in that December? We got together? We got together. That same December? Yeah. God told him the same answer what I was looking for. I said, if it's from God truly, because I started praying. You know, he was giving me Bible verses, yeah. he was giving me this. Before he said, you two go and pray so that you know that I'm not here for, uh, maybe I'll oh. kill you or this or whatever people are saying that mm. I look weird. Or he said, that's not me. Mm. In fact, from that January, I started speaking to his mom. His sisters, his dad, his uncle, his auntie. I met his brother. I did it straight away. Just like that. Just like that. that even though we're not together, yeah, even though we're not together, I've met all his family. I've met all his pastor, his, his church member. I've met everybody. Him too met my church people. Met everybody. As it started moving, it was just moving fast. Hey, so fast. Then around, um, so mm -hmm. it's a year later, in February 16, he said, "Oh, Cece, let's go." I said, "Where are we going?" He said, we're doing Valentine's and um, something in the church or whatever. Not knowing that he has planned everything. Mm. He planned the whole night without me even knowing. 
I said, how can you plan this without me knowing? I said, oh, wow. Hmm. It now asked me to... That is the following year, February 14th. February 16th. Uh, yeah, okay. February, but 16th for February. Okay. So, and I said, ah, when we got in the 16th of February, there was loads of people there. Thousands of people, red carpet. In London there? Yeah. F uh, red carpet, you know, many things was there, games, everything. They now called me and said, you have to come out. I said, ah, no, I'm okay. I don't like crowd. They said, no, you have to come out. We're playing a game. And if your picture comes up, then you have to be the one. Ah, my picture came up. I said, oh, God, uh -huh. why is it me? I'm the only Oibo there. Can you not pick a, a do two person? Okay, oh, the, 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 Everybody the, the was, event you went for was, was black. Yoba, Yoba. black. It's no Oibo. Yeah, Papa Yoba. And I said, Jesus, what is going on? He now get on his knees. He now sang the song that we first released. Hmm. Lovebirds. Hmm. I said, she said, I am a wife, a kid. Yes, he fell from well, top. Emi ma 
matirio, eya, eh, emi matirio, ah, eh, emi matirio. And we sang that before it's been released, though. He sang it live there. Who, who I was he was the one that composed the song. Yeah, he's the one that composed everything. The music, the keyboard, the drum, the, every instrument on there, one by one on his keyboard. That's why I say it's only God that has given him that anointing because that anointing is too much when he plays. In fact, bring a keyboardist that has been playing for 55 years, put tire on the keyboard. That keyboardist man will say, ah, ah. How can you do this? He, his hands, he can play two keyboards, three at the same time. Your husband? Yeah. He can play keyboard very well. And he can play talking drum, he can play shakara on the keyboard, he can play bass, he can play lead guitar, he can play all the instruments on the keyboard. Oh. It's not easy. And he will still be recording and adding the beats up to it. Hmm. After that, and I said, oh my days. He now asked me to marry him. He gave me the ring, he did everything. And that's it. Thousands of people still screaming. Events. Yeah. And I was stuck to my chair. I couldn't even move. I couldn't you were move. shocked. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. You are the most. He even took me. He, he you were emotionally stranded. Yeah. <laughs> he even said that. He, he even said to me, Ibuku, you have scared me after the program. He said, why did it take you at least 10 minutes before you say yes or no? I said, because I was just seeing everybody that if i say it what would they say you know i didn't know, know what answer to give to be honest i didn't know the answer if i say yeah or i say no i was just so shocked i was like oh my days and i said after 10 minutes i just said okay they give the ring they took pictures <laughs> from there we just started going to churches playing in fact we don't even know ourselves even we do speak at night we say ah, how did we end up in this place today he said Ah, me or more. I said, me too, me or more. Sometimes we end up in places that we didn't even plan to go. Goodness. We can be going out now as a family and we end up in a church and I'm ministering there in yeah. UK. Ah, yeah. can be six times in a day or yeah. six churches in a day. Yeah. There's no God game just rest. Your It's just God. Step. Holy Spirit is always with me. That's it. Even in Nigeria, you know, we came here, these other two white people that came here, they fell sick on the first day, second day, third day. Ah, first day, me, I've... Thank God, though. I've not felt sick yet. I'm praying that I will not fall sick. You've never, I've got many mosquito bites, though. <laughs> even though I've got mosquito protection on. But I've not felt sick for now. And I've, I've ministered in... Sometimes we'll leave... Um, last time we left... Uh, is it Shemawa? Okay, sh we, Simawa. We came from, I did ministry in Ibadan. Straight to that, Simawa. Simawa. Did ministration. Straight to Lagos. Ministration. Back to Ijari. Mm. On that same day. That with traffic. Mm. For and 24 hours. Just stretch. Morning to night. Stretch. Yeah. Even some churches we've been is in village. There's no light. We use phone. I will minister there on a solid rock with my knees. Mm. And you just do I'll that. I'll just go that. I'll there'll do be it. no repercussion. No hair repercussion. No. no music. No nothing. I'll just do it there live. Does it mean that God is supposed to create a Yoruba woman? Maybe he just. Ah. My husband said I'm a coconut. Coconut. <laughs> in an indirect color. So the white, you know, you, some people like coconut is brown on yeah. the outside. When yes. you go inside, it's yes. in me, I'm now the opposite. I'm Uibo oh. outside, or do do inside. <laughs> That's why he calls me Ibuku or Olori. Okay, Olori. He calls me Olori. Olori is queen. But if they ask for my name, it's Ibuku, but he calls me Olori. That's yeah. I'm so very, oh, oh, Ibo. I'm very. <laughs> I'm very jealous of this whole thing now. You know, <laughs> how how are you, how are you able to smash the emotional challenge from your parents? The no, it, don't go there thing. It's how are been you a to? till now. It's a talk of war. Mm. I won't lie. Mm. It's been a talk of war from friends. From at first, it's that saying they brainwashed me. Mm. They say ah. Maybe it's juju. No, your husband has brainwashed me. Okay, brainwashed. Brainwashed means you know because I've now started reading the Bible. You know, I say, oh, you just like your nan. Eh, no wonder that you spent 13 years with your grand. Him now has now come and added to it. He's now brainwashed. He's corrupted you. I said, look, Hill. I said, ah, in fact, I've used, it's not by my power. It's mm -hmm. only Holy Spirit. But me and my husband, we have one thing about us. Eh? Our coming together is not ordinary. It's from God. Mm -hmm. And Bible says, big belly software. Let me speak it in English. Bible says, what what God has joined together, no man, no man can put us under. 
Yeah. Not even with circumstances. Not even your mom or dad, because if it was for my mom, uh, I would have left him. Mm. If it was for people, his own people, his own friend, that is so-called friend, uh, ask him when mm. he comes, I would have left him. Mm. All the bad things, I hate everything, but Holy Spirit said, look here, mm. he has been, if a man is truthful on the first day, it will end truthful. That's what I believe. If a man is what? If a man is truthful oh, yeah. and doesn't true, hide true. on the first day, yes. that man's not going to start hiding in the middle. I agree with you. Do you agree? Yes. And I mean, he told me secrets that even his baba and his mom doesn't know. Mm. Yeah, and we prayed together about it. Many mm. things. Mm. There's nothing that is hidden. So from day one, he, he has been open. I've been yeah. open. So that one is an investment. Not only that, I said to my mom that, Mom, when you left my dad or whatever, you say you don't want to marry, whatever. Nobody, your own mom, couldn't tell you what to do because you have your character. Yep. And Bible says, husband, leave your mom and your father house and cling to your wife yes. and become one flesh. Yeah. Hmm. For that, this reason, so for that shall reason, leave his mother and his father and he shall cling to his wife and he shall become one. Yeah, so if, if I, I come one... Genesis 1, 2 or something. If I come... Or Genesis 2, verse 2. If I come one with my husband, which means my mom cannot have right anymore. So far as you have married and left your mom, and a man is married and left the mom, you have to come together as one. Yeah. So that's what I would say. Come together as one. And when it's from God, eh, no matter how people are saying negativity around, even me, myself, that tried to escape him, I couldn't now. Mm. Abby, yeah, <laughs> me that tried to escape him. Yeah, you wanted to escape him from I the one. Escape. You were trying to avoid him when you started seeing him from the kitchen side. You were like, and he was you? very final when fine. he came. I mean, just like an angel. Yeah, you know now you can say he's handsome yes. now in flesh. Yeah. I'm not on about that. He had like a, it's like a, like you say, angelic. Like yes. a, like a, he had like a light on him. Okay, like That's a what light. maybe like, like a light. Okay. Anytime he's around, if you are feeling anything, it's like you are healed. I understand. You are you are already. He has a healing effect. Yeah, it's a psychological, like, emotional. Even if your effect. mom is doing this, pressurizing you, when he comes, it's like I'll forget what my mom has said. Mm. We'll start writing love songs. He, in fact, my husband start texting me on Facebook, on on normal message, on WhatsApp, mm. on Instagram, uh -uh, or on every social media. I used to say, please, and he's upstairs. Till now he does it. Babe, are you okay? I say, ah, ah, I'm oh. only in the kitchen. Why that, are you texting me oh, most times? So uh, maybe you're in your... your, 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 your he your, can be in the, bathroom in the bathroom or in the bedroom. I can be cooking in the kitchen. And he's texting me. I've never seen that kind of scene in my life. Even video calling me while I'm cooking. He said, who are you with? I say, you are not serious. I will even say, show bad, don't you? He will say, ah, hey, me. I say, ah, how can you be calling me, asking me who I'm with when I'm in the kitchen cooking your ear or your hair bath? Yes, now. He will do it. Is, when he's in the bath, he will sing for me. He will play keyboards. In fact, the kids sit. I, I have many videos. The kids will sit on his knee. All of us will be singing. We have people eh, that have people that have mind problem, like mental health. Yeah. Once we sing for them, they are healed. Just like that. I mean, me and the kids and hmm. my husband. The house, they always say that our house is somewhat different. Like you, they you, see you, joy. You, an hour, and my house is full of lights, though. So. My Hold house up. is lit up 24-7. My lights don't go off because all the little things I make, they have lights inside. So I turn them on at night. My house is all lit. Lit up? Yeah, full of like little houses, so, so like I, vases, I, 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 I flowers. Remember, I remember the song by Tudy Bayou. It said, when you close the tears, remember, <laughs> some days it'll all be over. over. One day we gonna okay. get yeah, exactly. so high. Is high, that your favorite song? High. Then end of the day, remember the day we used yeah. to stay to the earth. You wonder how we make it through. And then end of the day, remember <laughs> the day we used to stay to the ground. You wonder it was me and you, cause we are gonna yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, forever. that's old song go. Wow. Me, you will always keep me flying high in the sky of love. Wow. Oh, yeah, your sky of love. Yeah. Hmm. From God. So your house is always lit up with an atmosphere always. of love. And if even the kids' room have their own stuff, I can make like a big lover out of wood, put rope. Dangle it on the wardrobe, and I'll put lights around that lover. Even the wardrobe has lights around. The units have like all this now in my house. Now they will all be grey, and it will be smooth, and it will have lights all over. Mm -hmm. At night we'll have the lights, and it's little. 
Mm. Even my mirror, my dressing table is lit up. The window self, even my husband knows I like light. Yeah. And he went and bought me like this uh, sticker for the wall. So you stick it on the wall like this, stick it down in the window. Oh, my window is lit up. Lit up. Yeah. Then I'll now use um, st um, this sticky stuff and I'll put it on the window here. Then it will dangle. Then the love heart will be there and it says, Onia family, Jesus mm. is Lord. Mm. Onia family, Jesus is Lord. Yeah, Jesus because Lord. I live in a Muslim area. Okay, community. So even the first day I moved to that area, how we moved there is only God as well. Another it's divine another, instance. Yeah, where I lived, eh? my husband said, ah, we need to move away from your family because they are pressurizing you and he's yeah. not feeling. And I said, okay, with it. I moved from like 15 minutes away like this. No, even 10 minutes away. No, that's not where God said. I had a dream. Mm. Mm. And in that dream, all night I was just walking up steps. Mm. Keep walking up all many step, steps. Staircase. Keep walking, 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 off. walking, walking. When I got to the top of that step, it was a house that is small. So I, I said, hey, do you know I actually fight God? Before for three God. days. My husband was laughing. He said, ah, he <laughs> are you Are you refusing God? I said, yeah, uh-uh. Why will I leave my big house? I've spent thousands of pounds in. I've just done the decoration. I've just done, I, I changed the kitchen hmm. completely. New kitchen. Hmm. I said, I'm not moving. He said, eh? I said, why? <laughs> I said, because that's my dream. So my husband was laughing. He said, maybe your mind is just playing up. Hmm. Let's pray about it. Hmm. And I said, okay. Uh, I had a dream again. Oh, three days. I said, oh my days. I said, I started packing my stuff. Hmm. Even my husband said, ah. Are you okay? Why are you packing the stuff? I said, we have to leave this house. Mm. He said, it's not possible. Mm. Where are you going? I said, I don't know. Mm. Do you know we had no house, no landlord, no number. As I'm packing this stuff, I've already organized the van, everything. We now got a number on the internet. They said, phone this man. I started looking at the house. I said, oh, God forbid. Lonely dear. All the houses are not up to my standard. Mm. None of them. Mm. We went there. 48 minute drive. On, I'm not on about, you know, you can be in Ibadan now yeah. and you can drive 48 yeah. minutes in Ibadan. Yeah, I'm on the... about on expressway, motorway, 48 minutes, no mm. stop. -all. So you can see how far, very far out I am. Yes. Like, you have already drove and left the whole of my, um, all that the place. City the city. Arena. You have left the city. Mm. We're now in the countryside where yeah. there's hills. Yeah. I said, ah, I can't stay here. There's no shop. There's no African shop. Where we have to go is back to that 48 drive before we can get African food. Mm. And I said, is that I will be wasting petrol? Is that I will be doing it? No. God still, God still said, no, you are going there. We viewed six houses that day. The kids was now crying. Eh, hey, mommy, we have viewed this house. Hey, you don't like this one. You don't like that one. And he now took us back to the first one that we viewed. And then Tayo said, oh, that's this, this house is your household. I said, no, it's too small. Hmm. I said, it's not even up to my standard. Hmm. We've, I took the house. Oh. It took hey, it I took the under house. some divine... I the, took the house. And even the landlord said to me, hey, it's like, you look like you know stuff about the house. I'm an interior designer. I, I paint, decorate. It's okay. This is your house. He said, within a week, God only did it for us. Oh. We did the house. Oh. Hmm. If you see it, you will not know that I've been there a week. I only moved there in August. Hmm. And yeah. you changed the environment. Total overhaul. Totally. Brand new wallpaper. Everything is beautiful. In fact, it's so beautiful. It's even more beautiful than the bigger house that we had. And the kids love it. As soon as we moved in there, on Monday, God did something. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everything opened. Hmm. In fact, it was like all that land that we was in was cursed for our life. When we, old yeah, place. The old place. When we left there, everything opened. We even got a Mount Zion contract here on Monday of moving. We even got the ticket booked. Ah, uh, it uh, ultipod you. It's too many. Things were just opening up. Just too much. That's how we came to Nigeria. That's how we did this, we did that, ah, uh, uh. It was too much. So when you follow God, eh? God is great, oh. Before I, before I go to the Yoruba aspect, I'm probably calling your husband in. Uh, will you see that this man, Paul Abide Munia, was a complimentary divine cover for your let me say for your god for your <clears> god <throat> was it was it was it the best divine compliment you would see what is it it came with luck into your life yeah it came with from god it's mm. like okay i was dancing for iaya mm. and mm. other people mm. which have billions of pounds if i want to be rich could have been rich then 
But it's like God was still saying no. The covenant of my life from God, I'll say I have it because I know without God, all these things cannot happen. So I know that from when, when it's God's timing and when you follow God, I mean, I don't think it can be a mistake or anything can be bad. You know, we can only still pray because marriage is a battle anyway. You have to pray anyway. Because when you marry, the curses from his own mom and dad's side, my own mom and dad's side, do come together and join one. And if you are not praying and you're not powerful, they will overpower you. That's why marriages end to, to today. Marriages only end because of foundational, generational curses. That's why. Because if God has put a marriage together, it can't fail to my own aspect, it cannot fail because mm. God is not a God is not a God of uh, even divorce. He hates it. Mm. He hates separation. He hates it, separation. So God will not give you a wrong wife or a wrong husband. It's you yourself. If you are not praying to the end, because marriage is a battle, and marriage is from God, but it's for yourself. It's not for God because mm. you are not going up with your husband. Though your husband is not going up with you. You are, not you are departing on earth. Okay, you are, you are not, not going, going to. Are you? Okay, you are not going to heaven. You can't die at the same time as me yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Even God forbid, bad thing. If a couple have a, had a car crash, you see the timing of their death is different. They mm. can't die at the same time. Like, like, mm. even if you shoot the bullet twice into a man and a woman, the, the death will be different. The heart will stop at a different time. Mm. That's, so that's actually... so when you want to do marriage, you do it for God. Though. You don't do it for yourself because Bible says you go to the world and you multiply, which means marriage self is just to give babies to multiply and give glory and honor back to God. Hmm. It's to help because God. You, you'll be judged for develop... everything that you do in that marriage, especially so... the man. You'll be judged for everything you do in that marriage. Hmm. One, number two, the man will be the man will take more of the blame. God forgive me, but that's what the Bible says. I can open f more than seven scriptures and tell you the man will be counted more because the Bible says husband should protect the wife, not the wife should protect the husband, which means if it's like most pastors now, sometimes Bible says God first, then your household, which is your wife and children, then your ministry comes after. But if you go and look at most church and pastors, they, they put the, the church first, then God, then the wife. Hmm. You have already, you, you can't oh, be at the- oh, Look, I need to come back again with the analysis so, so that they can understand. Bible says, God first, Yes. then your wife and your children, hmm. then the ministry, because your ministry starts from home, which means they, you have to have your ministry from home before you can come outside and, and minister to other people. Abby Becker? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. So most pastors these days, I'm not saying all oh, no. oh, Don't I don't want to offend anybody, but... But majority, in, I, because of what... Me our, like our, our, we are not stagnated to one church. That's the problem. When you go to church, they want you to be a member. I'm a member of Christ, though. I'm a member of God. Hmm. And I'm saying it live, oh, I, Ibuku, I'm a member of God. I'm not a member of a building. Hmm. The church is we. We are the church. We, in not, our the body. Yeah, not the building. Not the building, not the structure. It doesn't matter of a CAC, a Christ Apostle Church, this or redeem. uh, redeem or a Bible Life Faith Mission, all of them. It's just a title. Hmm. I'm not a prophetess. I'm not this. Though I give prophecy, I do it. It doesn't matter. It's only God using me. God can use a madman. So, Will you call that madman a prophet? Like, like mm. a madman can prophesy today in your life and it will come to pass. Mm. God can use anybody. So I don't have title. I'm Ibuku or I'm CC or I'm Oibo. I'm not this. I'm not that. I don't want to be that. Like, like mm. I, what, what did Jesus come here and have a title? He came here as a carpenter and he ride a donkey. Abi Yes. Ma did he ride a stallion? No. no. Uh -huh. I don't want title. That's when they say, prophet is this. I said, no, sorry. I'm a I'm Ibuku. You are just or a I'm Ibuku. CC. Yeah. Uh, if you like, call me auntie, call me, uh, a sister. Oh, call me sister, call me anything you want, but I'm just a book or I'm CC. Hmm. Because I don't need a title. It's hmm. wrong. Hmm. I hate it. I, it. It makes my, as soon as I see that person, you make my spirit angry hmm. that if Jesus can come here humble, humble himself. then Tanya, who are you? Hmm. You call yourself who, bishop. Yeah, I'm a bishop. No, I'm a B, biggest, highest, supreme, right, bishop, this one. Uh -uh. God forgive me. You have already killed my love for you. Hmm. 
So I'm by, telling the truth. By, 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 by tagging yourself with so much ambiguous title. Well, like I was saying, when I met my husband, mm. there's nothing my husband that my family don't <laughs> fail to today. If my husband, if Omotayo says A, A will come in the morning. If Paul says uh, this thing, don't take it or, or else this thing will happen. You take it and try it. You see that he, what he's saying is true. In fact, that's why my, I like my husband. He's just like me. You do know if my husband wants to speak now, I will finish the sentence. I know what he's going to say. If I want to speak, my husband will finish my sentence. I know what he, he knows what I want to say. In fact, you can't come behind Tayo. You can't come behind my husband and say uh, maybe one thing. Then you come to me and it will be a different answer. You will get that same answer. Even if you are Even in if Africa if you are in and Ibadan in Europe. And me, in Ijari, you will get the same answer. It will complement each other. Yeah. My it, God. It's too the much. The chemistry is too profound. OT <laughs> Even my mom will say, ah, you speak at the same time. When we go live on radio, say, Ty will say, ah, say, ah, both of us. Even when, when we speak at the same time, when he wants to laugh, I'll laugh at the same time. <laughs> if his leg is moving, my leg is moving. I'm, te I'm telling you, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> even our aunt, even my auntie called me the other day and said, ah, this picture that you took with your husband, you look like him. I said, but I'm you boy. You say, ah, even even your husband's nose looks like it's going pointy. Pointed nose. Yeah. Yes. Like if you look at his nose. nose now, his nose has gone pointy. Yes, I when saw I it. met him, it used to be flat. Yes, I saw it. Even it, his it, teeth, his eyes, his is, is weird. Yes, everything is going on in boy. I'm telling you, because a divided house can never stand, Abby. Yes, ma. A divided house cannot stand. Yeah. But when God himself has hmm. put two people together, even if any of them people don't want to be in there, they've got no choice. I tried it. I tried to say, ah, I'm not sure I want to be uh, with a godly man. I'm not sure. You know, when then I, was, I just give my life to Christ, I was a bit confused. Like, is this how church is? Is this how, is this how pastors do? Because sometimes it will, it, I thank God for the life of my husband that we minister together because God has taught us a lesson about mm. pastors. Mm. There's no, I'm sorry to say that in the whole of this place, eh, mm. in the whole of my life, there's only four prophets I know that I actually, in my spirit, I know that it's God that chose them, apart the rest of them. I'm sorry to say that you are a good speaker. Motivational speaker. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that all. In I don't Nigeria, care because yeah. Bible says everywhere, mm. not Nigeria. Even if you bring Nigerians to UK, they are worse than the ones that are in Nigeria. What do you, there's no church in Oibo land. It's a business center. Hmm. Your tithes and offering that you pay to God, they're getting it back with a tax. Hmm. You know this tax? They yes. get a tax yeah, 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 yeah. on every member, on every member's tithes and offering. Hmm. I don't see, I'm sorry, there's only a few in, in my town that I trust as my past. My that pastor, are genuine, that are genuine, yeah, the pastor and his wife, and, and a few other churches. Apart from that, I don't see them. I don't. All this one that you see through Facebook, and they say, hey, "Drop your number. This thing will happen." Ah, uh -uh. you yourself as a Christian, uh, are you okay? Hmm. It's like God forget. A lot of to be only old thou because yes. your head is bewitched. It, mm. You know when they say oh, yeah, buru. Yes. It's, it, it means that that person's head is bewitched. Yeah. I see them that if you are eating grass because of a prophet say you should eat grass, you too, you are already a dog. Mm. Oh my child, it means your mom from the root has taught you, brought you up to be a dog. Mm. Aja. You are not well trained. You, you know a wure. You see a wure. If you smack a wure, a wure that's goat. That's goat. Oh. You know that's female. Yes. Obuko is Obu the, uh, the male. The male. Uh -huh. Obuko do do. Obuko bolo. Obuko. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That a wure. Yes. If you if you smack that a wure, and you leave him, he will still come back and do that same. Yes. What you just smack his head for? Yes. Abi Becker. Yes. Uh -huh. Every smacking. Every smacking. He will still come back. The yes. only thing is, if you just. Smack, eh, 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 and go and, 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 go and come oh back. God. The only thing, if, if you if you disturb a life of a wure and you push the a wure to the wall, that a wure will bounce back. Yes, without that's, it has two sides. Though. A wure has to you can abuse somebody twice with that thing. Most pastors, yeah. eh, you will teach them, you will, they will minister. In fact, I credit them all because they've now become a good speaker. You will even believe them. Mm. They have that craftiness to even believe that uh, this one is a right reverend. And if you see what that that bishop or pastor or uh, this one or that one is doing behind closed doors, 
my God, you mm. run, or you even run from Christ. Jesus. If you're not careful and you don't want to know God yourself, pastors alone could have affected my own faith. Mm. I'm telling you, mm. there's only few. Mm. The Bible says it. The road to hell is very wide very large. and very broad. broad. You can find it. Yes, but the road to heaven. Ah, he, he even said, you know, most people, they misquote it. What I know about pastors, I will give you an example. And I always, I will bomb blast them. Even my husband said, ah, he said, don't make my wife speak because it, it, I will arrest you. You don't want to listen to me. Only, that Holy Spirit that arrested me to listen to Tayo. And to listen to, you know, for the, to give my life to Christ. Yeah. That anointing is what will arrest the other people. Amen. Paul will always say, ah, Ibukun, please oh, try to be, um, yeah, be nice. To, to These people, are, I say, no, if they are speaking heresies, you are peppering my spirit. And yeah. Bible says, speak the truth yeah. so you can be free. free yes. When, when it says the, about heaven, the road to heaven, what does he say? It's very narrow. Very, very. And it's a rugged way. Yes. But what did he say at the end? Said, only, a few only a few will find, will find, will find it. it. That, and he said, in the last days, it's not everybody that called me Lord, Lord. He's calling Lord who, that he will answer. Not only that, it's not everybody that you see that is uh, preaching today and this, this strange fire and this strange anointing as well as this good anointing and this holy anointing. Oh. In mm. fact, anointing is like a uh, Igbo market. You know, God forgive me. Oh. You know Igbo people, if you have Parasitmo now, in the Igbo people can do the exact copy of that, um, yeah. like Chinese people. Yeah. They can do the exact copy of the... And you will not know the difference between yeah. it. That's pastors these days. Not mm. all pastors. Oh, mm. I have four prophets in this country that I've been with. In fact, it's only... It, it, I can go any mile to look after them four prophets. They are my four prophets. Mm. That I can say that God called them. They are sincere. They are genuine, sincere. They don't ask they don't you, lie. hey, I need money to go and uh, do this and read Psalm. Can I not read my Psalm in my water at home and I'm, I'm back with that? Is it until I have to come to that? No, there's some things that go on. And, and I thank God for the life of my husband that even my husband, we have passed through the journey together. So that I always say that even if, if there's anything now, like let's say if God. If God, uh, if God's time is right to connect us and our blessings and our doors are open, nobody can say that Ibuku is with Ty, um, my husband for money or my husband is with Ibuku for this. Mm. We have gone through that road yeah. and we have rolled that road and seen it together. And that's why I thank God that it led me to Christ. But I thank God that if it's not from God, I wouldn't have accepted Christ. Mm. Which means that God has a purpose of why he joined us together. To be honest, hmm. and look now, I play keyboard. He play keyboard. We sing, we sing. We dance, we dance. He compose, I sing. I compose. He will sing. Everything is just together. And then look how he's been helping me with the Yoruba, the Bible, the O, E, U, the Do at the bottom. So God has given me the gift to read the Bible. Hmm. But with, if I have a gift from God and I don't know where or I don't have the instrument, how will you use your gift? I know. You still need somebody on earth to join you. And that's what my husband has done. He has taught me the yoga, everything about the culture, everything about even most things that you would not expect to be able to know. Me, I know because you know. of my husband. Now, let's, uh, uh, before we go to Yoruba, let me ask you, if you've spoken about the church and what it means to you to be a child of God and all that. When you see pastors talking about private jets, hey. talking about uh, limousine, I mean, a man of God talks about that when Corona was there, he bought three private jets and he was praying that Corona should it's not pride. stop. And uh, when the man of God is telling me that, oh, if you look at my shoe, it's 10,000 pounds. You can see my Ferrari there. You know, hmm. when you see this kind of thing happening in Africa, Russia, especially among African bishops and men of God, how do you feel being the wife of a pastor? I thank God for my life that you can't see my husband in a wrong gathering. Mm -hmm.